So we've already seen that our Raspberry Pi has quite a few software packages already on it. And to keep these software packages up to date, we're going to be using a tool called APT. So um, between the last video and this one, I've connected to a Wi-Fi network, just in case we need to download a few updates. And I'm going to run the terminal. From the terminal, we can this, this is how we access the APT tool. So the Raspberry Pi, uh, or rather the, the Raspbian operating system that we're using, keeps a list of software packages that are available. And before we download any softwares, it's always a good idea to update this list in case, um, in case the software packages have been updated. So we're going to execute the command sudo, and I'll come back to what that means later. apt is the tool we're using, apt get, and we're going to run update. So this is the process of the Raspberry Pi is now connecting to various repositories, software repositories, and just gathering information about software packages, like what version they're up to. This usually takes a little while, especially if you haven't done it in a while. OK, as we can see, that's finished fetching the um, software index updates. So now, if we wish, we could run the upgrade command, which will compare the versions of software that are currently installed to the ones that are in this list. And if there are any new versions in the list, it'll automatically download and update them. And we do this with the sudo apt get upgrade command. And now we're prompted um, to accept if we do want to either free or use the, the space in the memory card that this action will, will cause. So I'm going to strike Y for yes. And while that's ticking away, let's have a, uh, a discussion about that sudo command that I issued before. Sudo stands for super user do. And it's a way for users in this operating system to temporarily elevate their security privileges to do things like perform software up upgrades. Because you are elevating your security privileges, albeit temporarily, it's always worth double checking your typing when you're using the sudo command, just in case you've made a typo that could break your system essentially. Using tools like apt-get is usually pretty safe, but uh, further down the track, you know, it's, it's easy to become complacent when you're using sudo commands. And it's just, just worth remembering that when you're using sudo, the Raspberry Pi is just going to pull out all stops and do exactly what you tell it to. OK, it seems those upgrades have completed successfully, so we now have a fully up-to-date Raspberry Pi. In a, in a previous video, I mentioned that if your desktop looks a little different to mine, we'll come back to that later. Well, we're going to return to that now. If you bought a version of, if you bought an SD card that came preloaded with noobs, you may be running a version of Raspbian that's a few months old. And in the last couple of months, a major upgrade was released called Pixel, which is largely a cosmetic upgrade, but it does have a few features. So if you wish to upgrade from the older Raspbian to this new version with Pixel, you can run the sudo apt get dist upgrade command, and that will upgrade your distribution of Raspbian. That's like upgrading to the, to the newest version of Raspbian, rather than just the software packages that are inside it. We will include um, some material for that in the supplementary material section beside the video. So that wraps things up for chapter one. At this point, we have our Raspberry Pi, and we know how to use it as a desktop computer. And you can continue to do that if you want. If you're interested in learning how to program on your Pi, I'll see you in chapter two.